guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an exciting new to me vendor to share with you, Make Sense Candle Shop. I have never ordered from Make Sense, so this is new. Um, anyways, yeah, I was super excited about this order. I did get a breakdown. It looks like I ordered on April 29th. I don't remember when I received this order. somewhere around the beginning of the month. Um, so it did take a while to get it to me and everybody says that it's worth it, trust me. And I've only melted just a little bit so far, but I really enjoy what I have melted. So I'm just gonna get into it and show you what I got. Oh, it was so nice. Um, it came wrapped in tissue paper with a little, thank you, Sarah, very personalized, that's very nice. Okay, so I got a bag of samples, and there is a lot of samples in here. So I'll go through those first. This is Lime Sherbert. And, ooh, I like this one. I like her lime. It's a, to me, it's like a touch, just a little bit powdery. Powdery floral lime, but it's fresh. It's really good. I'm going to melt that. Yummy. This is Island Sunset, and they are in two little scalloped seashells, which are very cute. I love the shapes that she uses. And this is nice. I have no idea what this is. But it's fruity and florally at the same time. I can't pick out any certain um, notes to it, but it's very good. This is Seductive Strawberry Woo Scallop. And I like this. I'm assuming this is like a strawberry musk. That's what it smells like to me. And I can't get enough strawberry musk lately. It smells like a strawberry incense. I don't know. It's so beautiful though. It's so beautiful. I love it. Lavender marshmallow, which is awesome. I love lavender. And this is really good. Her lavender is really airy to me. Um, if you get, like it just, it's very airy. It's very light and airy. I don't know what I mean by airy, but you know, like just, yeah. But I really like it. I don't get a whole lot of marshmallow in that. This is Lemon Marshmallow Blue Ribbon Cookies. This is the first time I have ever tried Blue Ribbon Cookies, and I did order it, um, but I really, really like it. And this is awesome. This is so good. I get the cookies, I get lemon, and then I get a sweetness with the marshmallow. It almost smells like if you were to mix Fruit Loops and sugar cookie to me. <clears throat> Butter Brickle Latte, and this is like the cutest shape in the world. Little mug, oh my god, and that smells so good. It's delicious. I smell Butter Brickle, and I smell like a caramel latte note. So yummy. Okay, and this is Cookie Butter Crack, and a very famous scent, I guess, lately. I have not ever used one, or you melted Cookie Butter Crack, or ordered it, but I really would like to. It's so good. Oh my god. It's a beautiful cookie. It is just very good. It smells like a sugar cookie mixed with a peanut butter cookie, mixed with like a whole lot of cookie. I really like that. Dude, I am having issues. This is Zucchini Noel, and it's in two little toasts. And lately I've been finding myself hating zucchini. And I don't really care for this one too much. I like spicier zucchinis. I don't think I like the creamy ones anymore. And this is pretty light on cold, but I do pick up that sweet zucchini. Strawberry Raspberry Guava. There are so many samples in here. This is delicious, delicious. I get sweet strawberry, I get a lot of the sweet raspberry. It's not like a candy raspberry either, or a floral, it's just like perfect. And I don't know if I smell the guava, but that one I would definitely reorder, so good. Um, this looks like the last one. This is Tropical Getaway, again, in little seashells. What was the first one, it was Island Sunset, okay. 
this is delicious. Again, I'm not exactly sure what the notes are, but I feel like I smell margarita, like a lime margarita. So those are really good. Stick those back in here. <laughs> okay, so for what I ordered, you know, I really don't know. I don't remember here. I think I ordered duplicates in a lot of the scallops, so I, I'm just going to get into this. So I have two strawberry peach smoothies. And I think a few of these I may have ordered scent shots in, and I got scallops, which is totally fine with me. I don't know if maybe she did away with scent shots, but I almost prefer scallops anyways. Mmm, this is good. This is totally good. I get strawberry and peach. I would say more of the peach. And the peach is like the peachios, peachy rings, which I love it. I don't really know what the smoothie is, but... That is a really, really good one. Okay. Then I have Somewhere Over the Rainbow, which I want to say was a Skittle scent. Um, and I have two of those. And it's good. It doesn't smell like Skittles to me. It smells like some bubble gum. Some, like the comic book bubble gum that had a little comic wrapped around it. It smells like that mixed with oranges and lemons and limes. It's really good. I do like that one. I'm anxious to see. And Twizzlers. It kind of smells like Twizzlers too. I'm anxious to see how that one is. Watermelon lemonade. And there's two. And I like the little pictures on the sides. They're really cute too. Ooh. This is good. Very sugary. It's very sugary. Like you can actually smell the sugared, and it smells like the lemonade that comes like the country time, and then you dilute it with water. You know, whatever. It smells like that mixed with watermelon. I love this. I love this scent. Okay, then I got two Caribbean holidays, and I don't remember what this is either. God, I should have looked up scent descriptions, but that just ain't how I do things. Just a lot of work. I don't know what this is, but this is beautiful. I feel like I smell beech wood and um, maybe some like oceany watery scents. A little bit of florals. It's really sweet, surprisingly, and woodsy. I love, I love this. <coughs> I think the last scallop I ordered is this old house. And I have no idea what the scent description is or the notes on this, but I don't know why I ordered it. I don't care for this one at all. It does. It smells like an old house. It smells dirty and dingy and just... I don't even, well, I don't even know, but it's not, not good. To me, I'm sure there's someone out there that loves it. Okay, the last things I ordered our bags. So I didn't untie those either because I'm just killing it, right? Okay. These are the small bags. This first one is Hawaiian Punch. And her shapes are just so cute. These are little pot bottles. I think mine got kind of a little melted, but they have gold glittered caps on them. And it smells like Hawaiian Punch. Just very fruity. I feel like I get a lot of pineapple in it too. Oh, fuck it. I'll tie those later. This is peach pie filling. And I ordered this because I really have been trying to get this from Carol. Um, candles from the keeping room lately. And I couldn't get my hands on it. So I seen she had it. I'm like, ooh. Oh my god. So good. Little pies. How freaking cute is this? No wonder her tat is so long. So many people place huge orders. And she... I mean, these are like perfect tarts. They're beautiful. They're something you would put out on display... Um, she spends a lot of time creating these. They're just wonderful. And this is amazing. I get peach jelly. Um, if you've ever had peach jelly, that is like my favorite thing to eat. Peach jelly and peanut butter sandwiches. This smells just like peach jelly. I wish I could almost mix this with the peanut butter or the crack cookies or whatever. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, then I have a bag of blue ribbon cookies. 
and of course they are cookie shaped. I melted this one because I wanted to see how one of her fruities would do in one of her bakeries. This kicked total butt. Super cute glittery cookie. I get a lot of peanut butter in this scent. It's just amazing. It's a great cookie scent. This thing threw for quite a while. I'm going to say probably a good five hours, which when I melt a tart, I look for at least, actually, you know, like a four to five hour max. Anything above four to five hours, I really don't care because I switch my scent so often. Um, I just dump it after that anyways, unless it's like something I melt in my bedroom when I sleep or whatever, but that's really, really good. The fruity one that I melted is Blue Hawaiian. I if I can open it. Um, ta -da. And these, are, again, are little pot bottles with silver tabs. They're so pretty. This is good. I get a lot of cherry and coconut, I think. It smells awesome on cold. Um, I Since I've never ordered or melted, oops, hang on one sec never melted shit her stuff before <laughs> I am so sorry and you probably just got a crotch view but I'm not starting this over again anyways <clears throat> I've never melted her stuff before I didn't know how much to use just wanted to test it so I just used one of these little bottles it was really strong in my 24 watt um, I'm guessing this is maybe a half an ounce no maybe like 0.6 ounces, 0.7, something like that. It was really good. It, however, did not last very long. It was about a two-hour throw, um, starting off strong, and then after about two hours, it was pretty medium. But it still smelled really good, so I'm thinking I need to use two. Okay, this next one is Marshmallow Fireside. This is my favorite Bath & Body Works candle, so I really wanted to try it. I've never seen another vendor have it. Um, I've seen like toasted marshmallow and stuff like that, but it does not smell like the Bath and Body Work candle. I actually think I like this more. It's a tad sweeter. It's just beautiful. It's awesome. And these come in little orange hearts and yellow stars. If you can see them, I'm totally bending in an awkward way. Super good. I do really enjoy that. I can't wait to melt that one. The last one I ordered is not for me, it's for my Stacy girl. Um, and I custom blended a bag of blueberry birthday cake for her. And these come in little cupcakes. Holy crap, are they cute? They look hand frosted. Are these things hand frosted? I would say they are, but gosh, they are adorable. And smell freaking killer. I'm so jealous. It smells really good. Anyways, that was my tiny make sense order. I'm super mad at myself that I didn't order more. But I can't wait to try all these scents out and um, see how awesome they really are. Uh, yeah, that's about all I got. Uh, I think I'm going to place another order with her pretty soon for some fall scents. She's got some amazing sounding scents on her order and I need to get a kickstart on to fall. So by the time my order is made, it would be probably late August or early September. But you know what? I don't care about tat. I don't care. If the stuff is good, keep my money, hold on to it, just give me my product whenever it works out for you, you know? I don't care. All that tat, vendors opening and closing, it doesn't bother me at all. If I can't get an order, boo-hoo, oh well. That's just my opinion, though. I don't know why I just started on that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, have a good day.